New Roxy, I think, has some very interesting applications in PvE because her passive works everywhere. The added damage that she, that she does on the enemy or all your human allies doing the enemy works anywhere. So let's try them on Demonic Beast. First bird, <clears throat> I'm using, of course, two more humans with me and I'm using Megalda because the, the passive is not that restrictive. You can use on, you know, when I'm going to do Deer, for example, I can use Jormungandr. Just because Jormungandr is not going to get the passive to do extra damage on the enemy does not mean the passive is not going to work with the other allies. It's not restrictive, which I like. So, for example, let's start here with this card and just do the added damage and see how much added damage is it again? I'm connected crit, good. Yeah. Boom. It, with two more hard-hitting humans on my team, there is a really high possibility I can speed up some of these runs. Okay, well... <laughs> I don't want to waste single targets. I can speed up some of these runs on Demonic Beast, potentially even dogs. I'm more looking forward to dogs. Now, for the new Demonic Beast, unfortunately, there's no good team that would use her. What I mean by that is, you know, the best team for that is, what's it called? The goddesses, which don't really comply with her passive. They're not going to get the added damage from her passive, but, you know, other than the new beast, for all three of the other ones, which are currently farmable right now, oh, on global, uh, never mind, <laughs> as soon as the, the Roxy comes in, they become unfarmable on global, I forgot it's only one week, not true, well, boom, and then the added damage, pop, 60, uh, 64k, I think the damage was, but it's, it's a really good chunk, right? Just doing that added damage shaves off, like, almost the whole attack. Like, we're gonna do this. And Ascanor is going to do two hits of added damage, both from his finger attack and from Roxy, which now, because he has a 30% uh, damage cap, but we will actually kill him with only three attacks. Which is pretty good. Instead of having to go four attacks in to kill him this time, just go three. And it shaves off having to waste a card that otherwise wouldn't want to waste, for example. And this should kill, especially if Brynhilde decides to crit here. Nice. Then add a damage, boom. Crit. She missed. I. She has crit chance, you know? <laughs> she, she has crit chance on her gear, you know? But yeah, see the, the other damage? Really, really good. Obviously, a part of me wishes that... She was not just giving the crit chance to herself, but also the allies as well. But uh, that's asking for too much, maybe. You know, she's already giving the added damage to all human allies. If she was also giving the crit chance part... Maybe they, maybe she didn't have to give like 40% per human, right? But maybe like 10, 10% crit chance uh, to all human allies, depending on how many human allies there are. Would have been pretty, pretty good, but you know, maybe it would have been too good. Who knows? I just know that, you know, all people are going to be asking right now, how are you going to beat the phase two of the second floor? Well, I'll tell you. When you have damage dealt after the attack, you can actually bypass the fact that you need to attack five times because guess what? I am technically attacking. If I do four single targets, I'm attacking eight times technically. So as you will see, I'm gonna just go, I'm just gonna go with this. I'm just gonna do boom, 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 boom. And this will kill. I, I know it's an AoE at the end, but and then the other damage, boop. Then the other damage, and then other damage. Boom! Didn't even need the Ascanor AOE. Look at that. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's do um, do a bit of this. I'm gonna waste this ult right here, and then it should kill. It should kill. 
Phase 3 has that, um... Oh, wow. With the added damage, Ascarim does, like, almost half of the HP. It's a damage cap of 30%. Ascarim does 30% of 30% because of the, uh, the hit from his own thing. And then, on top of that, we do the actual damage from the passive. Which is based on Roxy's attack, right? Which is pretty high, 22,000. It's gonna be higher for me than other players because of, you know, box and constellation, but still gonna be pretty high regardless. Because her attack stat is actually higher than Askenorf, I think. Okay, now let's, uh, I'm gonna actually go with these off the bat. Because this phase is pretty annoying and long, but with the added damage... Boom, we can shave off a bunch of the HP... Very, very quickly. You know, phase 1 of floor 3 can take multiple turns because of how tanky it is, but look, we almost... Almost killed it already, like we got it under 30% HP. So I think the moment I saw that her passive works everywhere, I was like, that... That can be very practical. It, it can work in so many ways. Alright, let's uh, do these two cards right here. Now combine these two. I think she will kill. If she doesn't kill, it's because she will miss crits. Okay. Yep, and then the added damage will kill. Oh. The added damage did more damage than the actual card. <laughs> it did more than the actual card. Let's use up a heal again. Um, he already has a lot of... Ult Cage, I'm gonna waste these. The AoE is unfortunately... Like, Roxy has an AoE, Askenor has an AoE. They don't really contribute much, and they're kind of a waste of space. But Roxy, I mean, 100k on floor 3 is not terrible. It's gonna be looking much worse on the other... Uh, Demonic Beasts, of course. Maybe not Deer, because Deer has a very low damage cap anyways. It probably will be hitting damage cap with that. But like Dogs, it will be probably lo not looking very good on Dogs. But it's fine. So I want to save these Askenor Fingers, because obviously they are the strongest card I can possibly use. Is the Askenor Finger, because it hits... It's gonna hit three times. It's gonna hit the actual time, plus the effect from the card, and then the added damage. I wanna save that for floor for phase four and see what I can do with it. So I'm gonna do this. This this. Uh I don't think it will kill. Yeah. So I've given Brynhildr... So I usually give Brynhildr one side crit chance, one side attack, I should have given double crit chance. She's missing a lot, even if Max Miguel the passive. She's missing a lot, but it's fine. We kill next turn. We kill next turn. And then we'll see Askenor do the magic of the triple hit and then move on. This was relatively fast. For my first time doing with this strategy, it was pretty fast. I think... I don't want to... I don't want to Shut on her, but I think Brynhildr kind of held us back. We need, like, one more human. Like, Askenor uh, does not need replacement. For sure. Obviously, but, you know. Brynhildr is getting pretty old. She definitely is. So, he, he has revive. But that's fine. So, we're gonna do, uh... This. 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 And this. Let's see how this goes. There's a damage cap. So the finger will hit damage cap and then 30 and then plus the damage from the passive. Boom. Yeah, we killed him with revive in one turn. With revive, which is really almost impossible to do. With revive in one turn? Yeah, that's just not casually happening like this, for sure. So for Deer, I chose obviously Askenor. I don't like bringing light against Deer, but Askenor is different because he hits twice. And now he's gonna beat him three times. And I also chose Reinhardt because I think his prime 
for this. He has two single target cards, and with, uh, you know, Yorm, he's going to be having, what, 166% crit chance? So even the, the non-triple crit chance card should be hitting crits uh, with ease. So should be pretty good. Let's, uh, let's start off wasting some of these uh, undesirable cards here. See, the AoE still does pretty okay. That, that was, you know, one stack of Yorm. With two stacks of Yorm, obviously, it's going to hit harder. Yep. That's two of the crits. I was a little worried to see how he would do without, you know, so much buffing like Reinhardt usually needs, but... I think Yorm's passive gives enough that he will not be a hindrance to our DPS. So, blue, red, green... And if he somehow survives, Askenor goes in. But we're going to be doing the extra hits, so... Oh, he has a lot of HP on this phase, so the extra hit, like, didn't even look like much, yeah. I forgot how much, H how much HP he has in this phase. There's no extra damage from that, but Askenor will finish it off. Alright. Yeah, it's just this phase. This phase has, like, an absurd amount of HP. It makes her units look really good. Actually, uh, so this is level, level 3. Why not? Um, yep. Let's do this. I'll, I want to see the animation. Although, this is capped, so it's just a good damage cap. Yep. Damage cap is 25% uh, of the HP. But obviously, because of the second hit, we will be easily killing here. I mean, even without it, we would have done. No problem. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have had Yorm at the end so that she uh, she's the one not getting the extra passive. But it's fine. It's fine. The first floor is immensely easy. The only floor that's actually, you know, any... Annoyance is the last floor. So I'm just, I just was cultivating the fingers for this. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna just let it go. Look at that. Half of his HP. Half in one attack, and he has a 30% damage cap. But I did over half of his HP with one card. That's why Askenor plus Roxy is just a combo made in heaven. That I don't know if the devs actually intended or. It's an accident. I hope they intended because I think it. I, I can say it's a good job if they intended the combo to work because it, it does. The double hit from Askin was already strong in the air. So with Roxy, I mean, I'm worried about the, the final Demonic Beast. The new one, I don't think it will work well, but for the three first ones, I think it will. Just the new one is just garbage. <laughs> Uh, let me waste these. I don't want to waste this one, opposed to that one, because I want to make sure that I get the crit. But I think this one's gonna crit anyways. The uh, flood card will crit anyways, but just being cautious. He missed one, but it's fine. Should kill. Nice. Ending phase one in one turn. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now we're gonna have to waste. Wait, he has the the cap right there, but will we still be able... So blue goes into red, goes into green, and then goes into blue again. So let's do the AoE. We still do the extra damage, don't we? Or the, oh, we don't actually crit. Okay, we can't crit him. All right. So unfortunately for this phase right here, where we don't do any damage to him, all right, it does not work. I wanted to test. Kind of a waste, I should have done the AoE first. But sure. I, I wasn't I wasn't sure how that would work. Lots of asking cards. Unfortunately, I can't dump them right now. I'll dump them next turn. And then in the fi final phase, I'll do the fingers. I'm just gonna, every single floor, I'm just gonna keep as many Askenor fingers for the last phase as possible. Because that, that's just how... That's just how we're gonna absolutely demolish him. Uh, red. Then goes green. Then goes blue. And then he's dead. He's gonna be dead before the Askenor card anyways. 
Because this will do damage cap plus the damage. If only she was a human, that would, that would have also done the extra damage, but... Unfortunately, she's not. Why is Jormungandr supposed to even be? She looks like a human. I think she's unknown just cause. Um... I don't want to start this. I think I just want to dump the Eskinor AoE first. And then... I'm just going to ult, actually. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll dump this one as well. And then this one. I'm just going to ult. He has a bunch of HP, so I think the added damage will not look so good. Eh, that's not bad. But this, this should kill. No, okay, well... <laughs> I thought that maybe... The two attacks there would finish this, this phase off. I was very wrong. Okay, well... I was very wrong. Oh, I didn't, didn't realize, Reinhardt... With Yorm plus his passive of gaining stats, actually... Didn't get it right now. Would have like, PvP stats, right? It, this is not quite... Twigo plus Arthur, but... Uh, or it is! It actually is, 60% it is Twigo plus Arthur. Uh, don't want to waste the fingers, so... Just gonna ult of Ascanor. Now use this one, and... I'll waste one finger. Just to make sure it's done. I don't want to uh, lose the... Type cards in case I need them. So I want to make sure I have one blue, one red, and one green, just in case. I won't, but it is a precaution. All right, just dump the fingers. Boom, boom, boom. We can end with Ryan hard. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, Asking where just kills without damage increase. Because this, you know, Deer is designed for you to have the elemental damage increase, but Ascorn doesn't care. Let's go for a one turn kill. In this first phase here. I think this can t one turn kill. Yeah, that almost a damage cap, so. Ah! Uh, no. I don't think Yorm can kill here. Unless she does some crits and stuff. Oh, she crit every hit. <laughs> nice. Nice, okay. Um, hmm. Again, I don't want to waste Askrin. I want to save the Askrin cards for the end. Let's go red. Green. No. Green. Blue. Red, and green again. Then we start the next one with... Uh, blue, right? I think so. AoE, not gonna do the single target right now. We're gonna have to take two turns anyways, for this one, so... Yeah, I think it balances out the fact that, you know, the AoE doesn't do the, the extra damage. Roxy having not having two single targets, having like one card that does not proc her passive is a little unfortunate, but I suppose it was a way to balance it because or else she might have been a little too strong. All right, especially for a non-festival unit, right? They don't want to make non-festival units comparable to festival units, very likely. Uh, this will likely kill, but I will waste the Yorm card. Because why not? I'll waste the AoE from Ascaron as well, because it's a useless card. Yeah, this will kill. I didn't get the Yorm rotation, so these might not look as good, but... Let's waste his level 3. Uh, this one... No, I, I want him to have the... Yeah. Damn it. I don't want to waste an Ascaron card, but I want I want to finish the rotation to get the rank up. 
But I don't want to eat. Ah, damn it. We won't get the rank up, but we'll finish the rotation. It will almost kill. Okay. This is an AoE. I should waste it at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some math. Damn. <laughs> I just realized I'm gonna have to do some math. I'm gonna waste it right now. No, I can't. Oh, the Eskinar cards are gonna get me. Let's do this. It should kill. If it doesn't kill, then I waste this. And I will have two spaces. Okay, perfect. So the reason is... I don't know exactly how much health he has. For me to be able to kill him without dropping under... 20%, but as long as I attack the last of Ascom, it should be alright. So, let's go... Um, let's end with blue. So let's go red, no, damn it, yeah, blue, red, green, blue, so we end with blue so that we can get the ult off. There's one part about deer that is always frustrating. Okay. So, all right, we should be okay. One, th this Reinhardt attack, right? Plus an Askin attack should kill. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If it doesn't, well, well. Because look, he's going to do damage cap. Plus 30, or plus the damage and then bone kill. Nice. Then I have to save so many finger attacks, but it worked out, so that's, that's what matters. Ultimately, that is what matters. So for dogs, I am unsure if there is a combination of three other humans other than the booster. That would work, so I'm gonna hope that Tonar can land a few crits here and there. She has like 60% crit chance, plus... How much is her passive again? 30%. Attack related stats. Uh, she might hit some crits here and there, so I am hoping for the best. Let's waste these cards right here. Uh, let's end with this one. With already the attack buff and do some uh, some numbers already. I mean, if Tonar can land some crits, that'd be great, but I'm not <laughs> I am uh, in doubt that that's going to happen, given her crit chance. Doesn't matter though, I think Ascanor plus Roxy should be enough. Because because the way dogs were were built. It's only three phases. We should be alright. We should be alright. Right, let's do this. I think we kill here. We didn't get any single targets for Roxy. Her AoE is doing Good number, though, because of the attack buff from Tonar. So double crit damage, right? Although we had way more crit damage on the deer stage, so... <laughs> I don't want to talk too highly yet. Alright, we'll start with this. I'm going to do this right here. The reason for that is because Askinor's ultimate one-shots this next phase, so there's no point in not just going for it, honestly. Oh, she crit! I, I saw. <laughs> she crit. <laughs> Alright, Tonar can crit. If she can bust some out, then I'll be happy. 
All right, nothing to do with Roxy's passive here. Actually, let's let's test Roxy's ultimate. Can she one shot one of them? Why not? She definitely can. She's five six. But obviously, asking his ultimate, <laughs> it's way harder. All right, floor two. We're gonna go with the same. I'm just gonna. No, we waste the other. Ah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We already have one stance removal card. We need two. Usually, I use uh, Scotty and not Freyer. So, I tend to not want to waste the stance removal from Tonar just in case I need it. But with Freya, we already have another stance removal, so... In combination with the damage increase, that is pretty okay damage. Without it, it wasn't very good. <laughs> it really wasn't. Wow, you're critting me. With my core resistance gear, nice. Alright, this... Um... Okay, this should kill, I think, I think that the added damage from both Asker and, and uh, Roxy will kill, yep, 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 they don't even need the, uh, the last card there, and now I'm gonna do this, this, this will give me... No, I will need one. So I need this. 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 Um... I'll make sure he dies, so I'm just gonna attack with the finger. I, I wanted to save that, but... Oh, he cr she crit! <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this will kill. This will do damage cap, plus the damage, and then Askenor... Yeah. I think it kills. Yep. Because of the, the damage increase the damage the secondary damage dealt by Roxy's passive it actually did kill. So boom. Boom. I'll do this. I might be Making a mistake here, but I think he will almost die, and then Roxy's AoE will kill. Mm. Maybe I'm believing too much on her. Nope, I was not. She did kill. Nice. Nice! Even the AoE actually kind of did decent. Lots of, lots of toner cards. But it's fine, because she needs to... Uh, Lifesteal here anyway, so... We don't have a healer. <laughs> I like bringing Scotty to dogs because her ult heals. When you're using Freyr... Oh, the damage! He's not contributing on the healing front at all. But it's fine. It's fine, we'll be okay. Let's see how the last phase will go. It's uh I'll end with Askers actually, why not? It doesn't make a difference. Actually it does make a difference. Right now he has no damage reduction. Oh she crit! Right now he has no damage reduction. So Using the card that would hit for less would have been more beneficial, but it's fine. Because Askren is going to hit hard anyways. Through damage reduction, so... He's going for Freyr. Ooh. Okay. It's alright. Because we're going to do this. Raise the uh, HP-related stats. What are the odds I can actually kill with this right here. If I don't kill Obeka and restart the turn, but... Oh, she's critting, so she's gonna do extra damage. Good. I wanna heal with this. Ah, it kills 100%. Yep. 
Nice. This is a decent time for dogs. It's not insane, but decent. Um, it's unfortunate that he got sealed right there. But what we can do is this. So, if I kill him before the last card, then I'll get the ultimate gauge, and I actually kind of want that. I want to waste an Ascorn single target. I think I will. I think I will. Might be making a mistake. We'll find out. Because Ascorn will kill here. And then he gets the ultimate gauge because the debuff goes away. Honestly, again, pretty good time for dogs, this was. It doesn't reach maximum speed with uh, hot Ragnarok woman, what's her name? Uh, Freya. But that those runs require RNG, and this one was definitely a, a, a one that one that like looked pretty consistent, like if I did this run again, it would probably go exactly the same. Nothing was out of the ordinary. So I kind of like that. We had just got like a pretty decent improvement for dog runs, which was Megelda. But I think this was faster than Megelda. Consistency wise, because Megelda can also be a little iffy. Because she herself doesn't do any damage. So your whole damage is... Based on everyone else. Well, Roxy did damage, right? She doesn't do as much damage as Askinar, obviously. But she still do does damage. And she's helping the others do more damage as well, so... I don't know, I kind of like it. No card. I need one more card, man. You know, I've pulled dupes of one of the dog cards. Still need... I think I need the white one. I don't know. Anyways. Last one, I'll give it a try. This video starts getting pretty long with four beasts, huh? I don't know how uh, how well this will go. I, mean, I might be able to beat floor one. I'm not sure about floor two though. Floor two hits is just so hard. Let's go off already with a single target. So I brought Freya because she does buff our stats on everyone. She is, for now, the unit made for the beast with her relic, right? But obviously she wants to be surrounded by goddesses, which we are not. And I brought Megalda because uh, I had to bring a healer, and Megalda is actually pretty decent for the cleanse from all these debuffs we end up. Taking. No damage reduction, like with Mael. Be like the. Uh, I wish they make out the card just for HP. Maybe they'll help her not die the first turn. If she dies again, I'll give up. <laughs> it's a waste of time because I, I already know that this is not going to be good because the way to beat this stage is very specific. There's a very specific team for it. And Askinar is not even part of it. No way, you're gonna do that again. Okay. Alright. Um. Let's do this. That'll give me ult for Roxy and Freya. As long as Miguel doesn't die this turn, then we can actually probably do some 
pretty big damage next turn. Okay. Um. I'm gonna ult now. No, 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 no. Just click. The reason for it is that the actual damage will be dealt in the next turn anyways. I might as well just finish this one and then move on. We're gonna be getting her ult for the last phase again anyways. Give me a stance removal, please. Please? Nope, okay. Let's waste away no, no, no. her ult first, because the other one gives... Ult gauge. Not the ma <laughs> The added damage did about the same as the ultimate. Then the added damage did more than the attack. Alright. No stance removal. We're just gonna kill him with three stances. It is what it is. Uh, or we're not. Because she's dead. Listen, not this one. Alright? If you wanna use her, use her on the other ones. Not this one. She was not made for this. This is a very specific one. You need the specific team. Cringe, I know. It is what it is. Really good on the other ones, though. I was impressed.